Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics in Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, I am the manager of Manchester FC, and last episode we beat Montpelier 2-1, to one, a closer game than I would like, but we still managed to pull out three points from it. Today, we're traveling to San Jose, and if those of you who have been following the series since the first season will recall, San Jose was the team that knocked us out of the Liberty Cup, and San Jose, the city, is where we had our worst loss in series history, a 4 nothing loss. We managed to draw them 0-0 at our home, but we had nothing against them that time, and they're still a very tough team, undefeated, six wins, two draws, currently leading the league, they have pretty much the same club as before, McQueen is especially problematic for us because he's a defensive midfielder and will intercept a bunch of passes, but I have a strategy that I'm going to try out today in game and we'll see if that works. If it doesn't, we might not score any goals. But, let's see. We got one notification, and Hodges has learned the skill playing out. That's our goalkeeper. And now, we can also train it up to level two, and that's what we're gonna do. Anyone else pretty close? Calvert is only 15 days away. Uh, from getting cannon shot, and Worthington's only 15 days away from reaction, but Worthington, I don't believe, has even played this season. But here we go. Manchester versus San Jose. We're still trying to keep our positioning up here, and Little Rock and Topeka and Louisville are all pretty close behind us, so the better... If we could get a good result, a draw, or a win out of this, that would be excellent. And maybe a bit of revenge against San Jose. Also, if we score a goal, we have enough money for a new stadium. Won't that be nice to come home to? Manchester versus San Jose. We are visiting the site of our biggest loss in club history. Oh! I completely forgot to change up the formation. Okay. So that's that's the change I'm trying to do. I'm trying to use Edge's layoff pass to get it over to O'Donnell and avoid McQueen. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, is there anything else I want to change? I should have looked at this before. That is my bad. But on the defensive end, I think we're good. Bowling takes the ball, passes over to Triplet. Triplet Turns up, goes for the shot, and Shader knocks it away. So Shader is going to go take the ball and pass to O'Keefe. Could it should have done a regular pass there. And O'Keefe is going to hold it. And I guess they'll bring over McQueen, which is actually advantageous for us if McQueen can't take it away. And he wasn't able to. And Olsen has moved into the box. Now, the pass to Calvert. Calvert goes to the corner, and Calvert is going to try to break in here. Can he get past Lacey and Moreland? He gets, keeps the ball from Lacey. And Moreland isn't able to get it either. Calvert on goal. And Calvert goes to the shot, and it's saved. Out of bounds. I think that is that may be our best chance we've ever had against San Jose to score a goal. Okay. So Olsen and O'Donnell will go in. Edge will try and give us an advantage here. Yes, I purposely didn't say edge there. And Olsen will see if he can keep position. He's not able to, but he's got the front post now. And O'Donnell isn't able to keep it, and the pass is not good. Edge didn't get it to the right spot, and O'Donnell's going to move back. And now San Jose's got a chance to take the ball and see what they can do with it. Bow comes up. 
and gets past O'Donnell. And I guess he's just gonna hold on that one. So O'Donnell can move up. Roman could move over. O'Donnell could go for the tackle and is going to do it and get, successfully takes it away from Bao. But he has slide tackle, so he might just take it right back. And that's exactly what happened. Now, Bao is moving in and is probably going to try and pass to Triplet. And it gets past Doss. It's just Triplet on goal. And Triplet scores San Jose's first goal of the game. We are down one to nothing, and it's time to test out a strategy. Oh, I forgot we can't do a we can't do the skills during the first turn after kickoff. That is disappointing. However, I still think it's a good idea to have Edge do this because he's got the better passing between uh, O'Keefe there, and he passes over to O'Donnell. O'Donnell is going to move out and is going to hold and try and keep it away from Sloan because neither of those are particularly appealing options at the moment. And Sloan goes for the tackle and is not able to take it away. O'Donnell keeps the ball. What's the next, next step? Bow is coming in. Probably going to go for the slide tackle once again. Goes for it. Does not succeed. He is motivated now. But I don't know if that's going to do anything. And O'Donnell can only kick out or try and pass here. That is an unfortunate situation for O'Donnell to have landed himself in here. He is completely trapped against Bow. I guess he's going to have to go for the very low percentage shot here. And O'Donnell, it's knocked back to O'Donnell, but now he's not pressing. And I guess that will have to do it for the moment. Roman will continue his efforts. And we're going to move Olsen into the box. Just in case O'Donnell's able to keep the ball. And Bao presses, and Sloan takes it away. O'Donnell is motivated now. And McQueen takes it. McQueen moves over instead of, con instead of controlling it. So, Roman could come up. Um, Edge is going to press. And Roman is going to try and take this one away. He's not able to. And that will have to end the turn. Shader is going to move in the way to try and prevent this pass to Triplet. Ashley takes it. Ashley uses the rainbow feint to get past Doss. And it's probably going to pass to Triplet now. Triplet gets the pass. Can he score a second goal? Yes, he can. Triplet puts San Jose up two to nothing. We want to keep uh, if they if they do happen to beat us, which we're still hoping doesn't happen. We want to keep this as close a game as possible so we don't lose much in goal differential. Edge passes it past McQueen who is now motivated. And O'Donnell is going to have to go for the very low percentage shot. He goes and it's knocked back to him by Sloan and that ends the half. San Jose leading two to nothing. So the strategy hasn't worked well so far, but at least it works somewhat because we have matches against defending midfielders after this, and they're not as good as McQueen. So Edge will be starting with the ball a lot more often now. 
wonder if I just put everyone up like that. Where does the ball go? It goes to the defense. Okay. Wasn't thinking of actually trying that, but... Some experiments are worth having a look at. Um, to give O'Keefe a break, I think Thacker's going to come in. And Fry's going to come in for Calvert. I don't have much hope of a comeback, so uh, Thornton might also make it in. Oh, he's motivated now. That also, that makes it a little more difficult, too. So, Edge is going to do a pass, and it's knocked out of bounds by Sloan. Donald is going to try and get the ball. And O'Donnell's, it's knocked, knocked back there. So we can either have Roman take it. Well, Roman has to take it because Edge doesn't have a move. And O'Donnell can't move all the way there. So Roman takes the ball. And will hold it. Can he keep it away from Parks and Bow? Bow presses. Parks isn't able to take it away. That's a surprising result. Now McQueen or Bowling's probably going to come over. McQueen comes over. Can he take it away? No, he can't! He can't take it away either. Roman can pass to Olsen. Pass to O'Donnell wouldn't get very far. Could pass to Edge as well. He's going to do the pass to Olsen. Olsen could go for the shot or could move and risk losing the ball to Moreland. Go for the shot. Go for the shot. And Olsen's shot is saved. But can he take... Nope, he can't even try to take it away. So O'Donnell's going to move slightly in. And we'll see what Moreland does with it. Triplet's now in the box on the other end. And Rudolph takes it. Rudolph moves out and... Holds. So... Yeah, we can't really take too much advantage of this because Thacker's defense is rather weak, as seen there, and Fry's is even worse. So that, that was one of the consequences of me doing the substitutions. And the pass goes straight to Doss, and Doss manages to keep it from Triplet. A bit surprisingly there. Shatter going to is going to move out to the edge and is going to hold and we're gonna substitute in Thornton for Tompkins if another goal happens so triplet moving up he's probably gonna go for the aggressive tackle this could be risky, and he manages to take it away from Shatter. What's Triplet going to do? He's going to go for the long shot, and he manages to get it past for a goal. What a shot. You can't even... I was going to say you can't even be mad at that, but I, I'm, a, I'm still a bit mad. Come on, Hodges. You're better than that. We just gave you an upgrade. And the pass is intercepted by McQueen. Donnell will try and move up and take it away. He's not able to. McQueen has the ball. And Thornton is now in. We'll see what they do. McQueen goes for the pass. Triplet. Can he get a fourth goal? Yes, he can. San Jose is now challenging the previous record for worst results in Manchester history. 
edge. Passes to O'Donnell. O'Donnell moves out to the right side and is going to hold this one, try and keep it away from Sloan and Parks. Oh, and he's fouled! Edge is fouled, and he's injured! Oh, it's a one-day injury, thankfully. But, unfortunately, we have no substitutions left. So, Donald's just gonna... We're just gonna be short-handed now. So, Edge is gonna take the ball. Olsen is gonna move in, and... That may have to be... It. There's not much else to be done. So end turn, and Edge is gonna go for the pass, and it goes awry. That's that's it. That might have been a last, well, not even a last gasp. We're already down four to nothing, and McQueen takes the ball. What's he gonna do with it now? Nothing. He's gonna do nothing with it. Edge moves over. Oh, I didn't mean to try that. I meant to press, but at this point, I don't think it matters too much. And the pass gets by Roman. Bowling gets it past Shatter, and Triplet is going to try for the fifth goal of the game. I don't know what to say. San Jose came to play today, and we just didn't have the talent. We didn't have the talent to stop them. Pass to Roman. Roman passes to Thacker, and Thacker will hold to end this miserable, miserable Manchester match. Five to nothing. We lost five to nothing. I don't really think there's many positives we can take away from this one. Our goal differential is now at zero. Again. Edge, Roman, and Shatter are, are our men of the match. Roman is approaching that upgrade very, very quickly. And O'Donnell made huge progress towards becoming a right fielder. And thankfully, isn't going to be injured for too long. We've made no money off of that, so no new stadium. A disappointment of a game. Louisville beat Providence 2-1. to Topeka beat Montgomery 2-1. to Boise beat Jackson 3-2. to Montpelier beat Little Rock 4-3. to These are all very close games. And then Concord beat Columbia 4 to nothing. And we are down in 6th place now. That is out of the top five where I wanted to finish. So we got to work on our recovery when we take on Little Rock in our next match. Who is not starting their defen defensive midfielder? That seems strange. And this is just telling me that O'Donnell has recovered. Okay. So, a disappointing game, but we... We knew San Jose was a really good team. We've played them in the past, and they just have a setup and that and a team that doesn't that challenges us in ways a lot of other teams can't. Hopefully, we can bounce back against Little Rock. Otherwise, we're slipping further down the standings. So I hope you enjoyed the video, despite the lackluster performance. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Those are all incredibly helpful for people finding the channel and the series specifically. And I hope you have a great day, and happy gaming.